What's going on everyone? So yesterday I went to New York City with my friend slash roommate and I didn't get any footage of it, you know, because I really didn't feel like vlogging or filming or anything at that point yesterday. You know, just enjoy the trip, whatever. Um, but there was a bike covered in carpet. A bike covered in carpet. Only in New York City will you see something like that. The seat, the frame, and there were no wheels, mind you. The wheels were probably stolen or something. But there was no wheels, and the whole frame, and the seat, and the handles were all covered in carpet. And I have a picture that I'm about to show you guys right here. And you guys can see the picture, and I will enlarge it right now so you guys can see it. It's insane, a bike covered in carpet. Will you ever see something like that anywhere else besides New York City? But, yeah, it's about 11.15 in the morning right now, and I am waiting for my, uh mail to come because I'm getting some eBay packages actually too uh, one of them a screen protector for my uh, bloggy touch and a case for it and the other one RAM for my iMac computer that I bought as well uh, you know two three weeks ago I bought but you guys remember the blizzard that we had like last week um, of 2010 here in New Jersey check this out more snow right now it is snowing like crazy Look at that. We're supposed to get like six to seven inches right now. And somebody likes the snow right here. Yeah, we're supposed to get like six to seven inches right now. Nothing major like last time. Nothing like uh, 32 inches. So, you know, if the 32 inches were still here, we'd have like almost 40 inches of snow on the ground right now. And you can just see it sticking to all the trees and stuff like that. It's really nice. I like it. I like the snow. I really do. I like the snow. It's really cool. But it's really bright out here too when you, when it snows out as well because everything is insanely uh, white. Yeah. And <laughs> it's all in the uh, fence here as well. So I think it looks pretty cool though. Uh, leave a comment in the comments box down below. Let me know what you guys think about snow. Do you guys like snow? Do you guys hate snow? Um, yeah. I'm about to go check if we got the mail. Awesome guys. So the mail just came. Two packages right there. Got my bloggy touch case right here, really nice. And I also got screen protectors for the bloggy as well. Um, so I also have my iMac downstairs ready to go to install the RAM. So I'm about to do that right now. And the screwdriver just fell out of my back pocket. What do you know? Alrighty, I just want to show you guys the uh, iMac down here where it's ready to go. There it is in the dungeon, the basement, the AKA uh, green screen room. All this stuff over here is on eBay as well, right now. Um, yeah, here's the e iMac right now. Um, I'm thinking about replacing the back case, because, you know, you get the back case for, like, 15 bucks now. Because, uh, you see, it's got a lot of uh, tape on it it had, and I tried to scrub it out. Um, so, yeah, thinking about resale value of this. Um, yeah, who knows how I could have a lot of resale value, but, you know, just for cosmetic purposes, I think... Um, you know, get the back case for like 15 bucks or something like that. So, uh, I'm about to go install the RAM right now since all, this is also my tech channel. You know, where I do unboxings, you know, reviews of tech stuff. Um, so, along with the vlogs, pretty much. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how to install RAM on an iMac right now. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are inside the iMac. Once you get the case off, this is the back casing right here. You get this right here, the iMac itself on the inside. To get the back uh, thing off, you have to unscrew three screws right here. Actually, loosen. They don't come out, so don't worry about that. And then we have the RAM right here. This is a one gig stick, and um, the RAM slots are right here on the side. So we have our RAM right here. I believe this is. Yep. And then we are going to just install it in here. Hopefully, this is the compatible model, uh, which I researched it a lot, and I saw that it is. So hopefully, it works. So you just basically... Insert it in the slot, and I believe it should push down right now. Oh, no, it's the wrong way. All right. Yeah, shows so much I know about installing RAM. All right, so that should be it, maybe. No. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Score. Alrighty guys, so I just finished installing the RAM on the iMac computer right here. It's now got 1.5 gigabytes of RAM 
right now, so that's really awesome. The max supported RAM on this iMac right here is 2 gigs, so I plan on getting another stick maybe in the future, so we'll have 2 gigs of RAM. And some possible things that I want to do to it is install a 1TB hard drive on it, that's the max supported on it. Um, it's a PowerPC G5, so that means it can only go up to uh, OSX Leopard. Um, so it's running Tiger now, which is 10.4, and I plan on upgrading it to Leopard as well, um, and getting a movie editor on it, you know, because Tiger doesn't really have any good movie editors and stuff, you know, with Leopard you can at least get the recent uh, movie editors and stuff like that, so I plan on do getting some movie editors on here, so you know, I can have a, a good desktop with a 1TB hard drive, you know, back up a lot of my videos, files, stuff like that. Um, so that would be pretty awesome. That's just some things I want to do to it. You know, who knows if it's going to happen or not. Probably not, but, you know, maybe it will. Who knows. I also installed the uh, screen protector on my bloggy touch right there. It's got one air bubble. That's whatever. Always happens at least once, you know, for screen protectors, but whatever. Um, so I'm about to look for some eBay items. Today, today, today is the last last day to um, basically list your item for free on eBay today so I plan on looking for a few items you know listing them up because it's last day for uh, free listing so that's pretty cool oh and also I want to show you guys this I also went on to the second stage in the casting call for WWE Tough Enough I got the application via email from the casting producer, which is pretty awesome. So I'm on to the second step. Just have to fill this out, and I have to make a seven-minute video, or maximum seven-minute video, about yourself. Hey, guess what? That's my specialty right there, isn't it? So I've got to do that. Do a promo for yourself. I can do a promo for myself. I don't. Maybe I'll list it on uh, YouTube. Um, I'm not sure if you can. You know, I'm, I'll probably won't put it up on YouTube until you know after I know if I got on the show or not, or you know on to the next step or whatever. So um, yeah, I'm gonna make that promo and I'm gonna let you guys uh, stay updated on these uh, things because I've been filling out some casting applications and stuff like that uh, recently. So it's pretty cool. Stay tuned for some awesome stuff like that. Who knows? Something could happen in the future.